Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're finishing up our look at the newest wave of McFarlane Collector Edition figures, and we're finishing off with the Penguin, subtitled under the DC Classic theme. So this Penguin does represent a very classic look. We've seen him most recently in the Arkham games, where he definitely had a different look, more stylized, definitely a gritty, more realistic look. But now we're getting that classic penguin from the Batman Rogues Gallery that I think a lot of people really resonate with because of the exposure to the Batman 66 show, comic books. We haven't really seen this version of the penguin in any other video games or movies or animation too much. So it's good to see this classic penguin brought into figure form by the Fairland Toys. So let's take a look at what we got in the package here. So the box art is. It's wild, man. It's the 1970s, probably. You got some, I believe this is Jim Aparo artwork. Classic Batman artist. You got the penguin riding some weird dinosaur, and it's like, what the hell? But you'll notice that penguin umbrella, it's a gun. And it's a very nicely, kind of, you know, it reminds me all the time when I think of the superpowers penguin. That was a classic figure. I never had it. That was before my time, but... I really think this is something that's very crucial to this kind of figure, especially this classic penguin. It's unfortunate we don't get that, but let's see what else we get. We do have, you know, the display stand with the silver DC logo in it. We also have that collector card display stand, the trading card, and we also got two hands. We got a gesturing hand and a closed fist. Besides the umbrella that you get with the figure, that's all we're getting. Very bare bones minimum DC Collector Edition figure. It's very disappointing. It's much like Starfire. An awesome looking figure. Beautiful sculpt. Bare bones accessories. Really accessories that don't work with the figure. Those energy construct pom-poms that are supposed to show her energy blast don't fit on the hands. And unfortunately, this penguin... All you're getting is a reuse of an umbrella from the Arkham Penguin with the Solomon Grundy build. So it's a little disappointing. That's what we're getting in this figure. As you see on that package, should have came with that kind of... I know we have the mandate where there's no guns, but it's an umbrella. An umbrella that's a little more folded out. I think a full-fledged open umbrella that you can kind of twirl would have been cool as well. Different umbrellas for a collector's edition figure, a deluxe figure. Unfortunately, we don't get that, but we do get an absolutely amazing sculpted, detailed, highly detailed penguin. I mean, man, this is, when I think penguin, this is what I think of. This classic version, this little tubby rotund figure with the penguin suit, so to speak, the tuxedo, you know, the top hat, the monocle, really nicely done. Very good head sculpt as well, that nose, man, that's a penguin nose. Got the hair coming out there, the hop hat as well. Got the purple brim around it. Looks good. Looks really sharp. You know, overall, the colors are very bright and popping. On the packaging artwork, you see he has yellow for that kind of vest, which I don't know. I wouldn't mind that yellow, but I do like the orange. It's really bright. There's pinstriping on the legs. Unfortunately, we don't get any pinstriping here. That would have been a nice little added touch since we're not getting anything in the packaging but the figure does have some really nice texturing on this coat really well done got the tails here as well so the penguin does look stupendous i really really like the way this figure looks he's gonna look great with your batman rogues gallery but unfortunately it's such a bare bones figure man they should have included more stuff that seems to be the the running chorus that we're hearing with the collector's edition figures not enough accessories, way overpriced, and it's very disheartening because this is not doing justice and service to the collectors and the fans of McFarlane toys that are buying these figures. And what's wild, we hear so many complaints about it, but they still sell out at retail. I dare you to try and find a Starfire figure, Captain Boomerang even, and this guy. They are nowhere to be found at any GameStops. Toys R Us did have a full case of this guy here but they were charging $49.99 a figure which is really damn expensive for this 
But I went back to the Toys R Us because they uh, had to do some checking out some stuff, and all those servers were gone. So even at that high price point, people are still buying this stuff. So if you want to really hear your voice, get McFarlane to pay attention to us. You got to be maybe not buying so many, but they're selling. So, man, the marketing team, the accounts, the execs, they're happy as hell. But yeah, the Penguin, let's get back on track here. The Penguin is a really fine looking figure. I'm very happy to have this guy in the collection. And let's take a look at some of the articulation this guy has. So a body buck like this, you're thinking maybe it's not going to have too much articulation. And you're kind of right. The head does move up quite nicely. You do have a pretty good range of motion there. A bit of side attitude going on to give him some extra attitude. You do have, <clears throat> excuse me, you do have no spacer joints in there. There's no spacer joints whatsoever. But you still have a nice fluid range of motion there. You got the double jointed elbows, ball joints at the wrist. Now, the torso articulation, what's kind of okay about this is that it's a solid piece. It's not that squish mellow, um, that Green Lantern, DC versus Vampire's Green Lantern. Wow, that was like a squish mellow body. It was terrible. Didn't like that super soft rubber that you just put your finger in and it's like, what the hell? But this one, it's solid. Okay, so that's, that's not too bad. Okay, he's not going to have the greatest articulation though, as you can see. You can go back a little bit, not much. Forward a little bit, but bounces right back. So unfortunately, yeah, not much articulation there. Does have the ball joints at the hips. Does have just single jointed knees with a pivot, I hope. Yes, he does have the pivot there. So he does have a bit more range of motion. And he does have your toe articulation, pivot, ankle rocker as well. Now, the ball joint is hidden by the pants, so it would be probably a sculpted ball joint. But yeah, it's um, a classic-looking penguin that I think a lot of people really want in their collection. I kind of wanted it, too. Penguin's not my favorite DC Batman villain by any stretch of imagination. He's not up there with the Joker or Riddler or even Hush, for that matter. But I do really like this figure because the design is so reminiscent of the superpowers. And that's the superpowers that I kind of resonate with, that superpowers figure. There is a Chase Platinum variant of this figure as well. He's more in a traditional superpowers costume colors. He did have, I believe, a lighter blue and a yellow kind of uh, vest going on, I believe. I'm not 100% because I haven't seen that figure in person. But either way, I think either Penguin would really kind of fit that spot for the classic rogues gallery for Batman. And this, again, is a very nice figure. I want to bring in a couple uh, other figures so you can see what's the stature of this figure and how he sits with other DC Multiverse figures. First off, I want to bring in this guy here because this is the Gotham Knights version of Nightwing. Now, you did see Penguin in the Gotham Knights game. Not this Penguin. It's more the Arkham Penguin. But it's just nice to see. This is a high difference that you're getting with this Penguin. He's not terribly small. He suits the figure's size that, you know, resonates with our imagination. You think he's not going to be a six-foot figure. He's not going to even come close to that. But he is bigger than I anticipated, so I appreciate that. And these two look good together. I really do like that. And then let's bring in another kind of a superpower-esque figure. Uh, definitely a Kenner figure in my imagination. Is this Batman here. Bring this back a bit. All right. So this one here, you know, he's an all-black. This is from the JLA wave, the Plastic Man Build-A-Figure. I really like the way these two interact. The color scheme, of course, is very plain on this one, but it suits that Kenner figure mold, which the superpowers are from. So imagine these two guys together. I really like the way it looks. It's very sharp, looking good. And then I'm gonna bring in another character that's a little smaller in stature. And that here is the Gotham Knights, Tim Drake Robin. So these guys are almost the same size. And I kind of like that, you know, they're the same size. I don't want my penguin to be too tall, but this fits the more younger teen Robin. And this is a one kind of one-off body sculpt. I haven't seen it used before. It's very unique. I don't think we'll see this body used again. It's kind of a shame we didn't get more from the Gotham Knights video game series. We just got the four figures. I would have liked to have seen a bit of the villains out of that series. A Batman for sure. He was in the game. Not much, but he was in it for a bit. And some motorcycles would have been cool. So cool to see that, but unfortunately we didn't get it. The game didn't produce the numbers that they were expecting, so 
kind of a one and done, but the figures really stand out, and there are some really awesome figures. Really appreciate the the diversity of these figures as well. And then let's bring in uh, you know a good kind of companion piece to go with this, and that is the Joker. The Joker. This is the Infinite Frontier Joker. I really do like the way this one's stylized. It's highly stylized and artistic, but I do like it. I added the gun from, let's see, the White Knight Joker. It's had a bit more of a painted handle, a little more details on it. This gun does come in the first munition pack from the Fairland Toys as well, so if you wanted to paint it up, that one's really plain. I would definitely paint it up. But these two look good together as well. Classic Joker. Well, not really classic, but we're getting there <laughs> to a classic Joker. But I love it with the penguin. And then, of course, let's bring in this guy. And this is the Jim Lee Hush Batman, the blue and gray version. And it's a good height difference between these two. You know, Penguin's not a villain that's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe physically with Batman, but he will have some maniacal schemes, henchmen, those crazy umbrella guns, which I love. And it's too bad we didn't get to see more of that in this figure. And now the last figure I want to bring out, because I think this is a very interesting height difference, one of my absolute new favorites, and that is Bane. This mega figure that came in the two-pack with the Nightfall Batman. Can, well, we got to bring him out of range here. You can see some other figures that are in the background. We'll, we'll deal with that stuff later. But yeah, this is, uh, I love the height difference between these two. Diminutive Joker, or excuse me, Penguin, that maybe hired Bane to be his bodyguard to take on some some superheroes that cause him some issues with Penguin and his criminal activities. I think that looks really cool as well. Very nice. So, well, let's uh, wrap things up here. The Penguin, it's a classic figure I think a lot of collectors want. I'm very happy to have this figure in my collection. But unfortunately, putting them in the Collector's Edition series does hurt it because it comes bare bones with absolutely nothing. A couple hands, really nothing going on there. The Penguin Umbrella, which is the same one used in the Arkham release, disappointing there. Doesn't even come with like little arm penguins, which I thought would have been so cool. A nice little touch to this figure. And I think even having a different kind of chase figure would have been better. I think what my mind reminisces is the Batman Batman Returns Penguin, <laughs> which is in all black and red from the figure series. For some reason, maybe they didn't get Danny DeVito's likeness, they didn't do that more artistic version of him. I feel like the Arkham version is more closer to that Batman Returns version. But alas, this is what we're getting. A little bare bones, actually really bare bones, and kind of disappointing. But it's a figure that everybody wants to have to their collection and fill out the Rose Gallery. So it's kind of going to be a must-buy for those Batman collectors. Personally, because I am not the biggest Penguin fan, I could kind of skip this one. It's not super, super important to me. But I am glad I picked it up. And I did have, you know, gift cards because when I bought all these figures in this huge mega GameStop haul that came early. Check out the video for that. It's a, it's a long one, but there's a lot of figures I embossed in that series, in that video. And I could kind of do or do without it. It's not usually the kind of thing I like. I like to have a figure that I'm 100% in or a figure that, yeah, I'm not going to get it whatsoever. This one kind of falls in between that yes and no kind of thing. The yin and yang. But I am happy I have it. I'm glad I did purchase it. And I think you could find it on sale, or you have a gift card, or you got some birthday money, or something to that regards. I mean, I think it'll be okay. I think you'll be pleasantly happy and surprised with the aesthetics of the character. He looks really good. The articulation is kind of what you expect for a diminutive figure like this, and that body stylization. But it is a pretty good overall figure. Just something that I wish came with more stuff. That seems to be the chorus that I'm singing with these collector's edition figures. They need more stuff. Get rid of the trading card display stand. Add more stuff. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get those new videos put into your feed right away as soon as I produce them and put them out there. But I want to say thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And we got a lot more reviews coming soon. Take care, guys.